Hello my lovelies, welcome back to another video. Today is probably one of the most exciting videos I think I've ever filmed, ever filmed with a brand. I, I'm literally over the moon, I cannot believe it. So, She Glam have decided they wanna work with me. Can we take a second? Can we take a second? I'm gonna need all the time in the world because I'm li I still can't believe it. Um, yeah, I, ah, I, I just, I just tell, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit excited. So of course that means that everything in this video has been kindly gifted. So let's get straight into the juicy deets. So they have not only sent me one makeup palette, they have not only sent me two, three, they have not only sent me four, but they have sent me, ah, five makeup palettes to test out and try out for you guys and then it doesn't stop there no 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 they have also sent me a massive pack of eyelashes you get one two three four five six seven eight different styles of eyelashes here and they actually have the sort of like TikTok famous eyelashes here which have little cute butterflies all around the eyelashes which i saw online and i was like oh my god i have to have these so the fact that they've decided to send me these out for free my mind is blown. I am so, so, so excited to try these out. They look so wispy and fluffy. Ah, yeah, like, I just, I just really can't believe it. Like I said, I'm just so over the moon. So, let's break down the palettes a little bit. So, what I'm going to do in this video is, I'm going to do one different eye look for each palette. And I'm going to be doing it over a cross of number of days. I'm going to be looking slightly different in different takes. So yes, about the makeup palettes, what I absolutely adore about this is that there's zodiac signs, that's what the theme is, and I absolutely love that sort of stuff. The zodiac star signs, like, I, I just find it so, so interesting. The first one is Lively Leo. I, I mean, Lion is my favorite animal, so I always really, really like Leo ones, and most of my family are Leo as well. Um, but how sick is the packaging? If you know me, you know this is a massive thing for me. Um, it's a really, really big deal I find. When I'm buying stuff, like I want the packaging to look nice. Just that, just how it is for me. So it comes in this little box. When you take it out, um, the design is exactly the same on the actual palette, but it just feels and looks so premium. And I'm pretty sure these are actually um, fairly cheap as well, which really, really baffles me. I have a little baby lion here as well. Oh my God, it's just, yeah, it's just so, so cute. We've got Virtuous Virgo. This is a green palette, green tones. Um, got some hummingbirds here. Again, so gorgeous. I love the fact that they've got the little like um, zodiac sign here at the top as well. They've got it on each of the boxes. But this one, again, is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a purple moment here, which is Spontaneous Sagittarius. Again, absolutely gorgeous design. All of them are and absolutely amazing. I love the fact that she's got like a tattoo on her here and a nice little plaid. I just, yeah, it's just super, super cool. Also, I've got to mention on the back, it's got like a little... It says, it says stuff about like being that star side and it's got a similar sort of stuff in the palette as well uh, but that's what it's looking like on the back so we've got this bad boy next we have got perceptive pisces of course we've got the fish here and i absolutely love this one i don't know what it is about this one but i just think i think it's the blues and the sort of like orangey corally sort of colors it just goes really really nicely so i'm going to be excited to try that one out and then lastly we have got caring cancer this is like a pink red um, vibe going on, you know me, red's my favourite colour, so again, really, really excited to use this one. So those are the palettes, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna break them down individually when I start to use them. I'd also like to quickly mention that these are all vegan and cruelty free. It's all FSC certificated packaging. You can purchase these by going on She Glam website. I'm gonna be putting, of course, all the details in the description box down below, so definitely check them out. If you just type in horoscope in the search bar, everything will come up, you can buy them as collectible or you can buy them individually. You can also buy the lashes as well if you wanna get the goods and sort of like create the look similar to me. I'm gonna be putting prices as well. I'll put them up on the screen and I'll put them, of course, as I mentioned, all in the description box down below. Okay guys, let's actually get into this video. And okay, what one to pick first? <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna go in with the purple. Uh, so this is the Spontaneous Sagittarius. So on the back it says, driven by wanderlust and wild curiosity, you live life to the fullest, Spontaneous Sagittarius. And when it comes to your glam game, you feel the same. Ordinary overdone colors are just not your thing. That's why we created a range of radiant purples in mattes and showy shimmers to cater to your unique and quirky spirit. I absolutely love that. I love how they've like, picked out traits, you know, from your personality and stuff like that. And inside, whoo, whoo, 
cool. Okay, okay. Look at that. So it comes with a little film things. Can't remember what it's called. How insane. I don't know whether that's picking up as well, but this shade is really popping for me. I have to use this shade. I love as well that they've got a zodiac symbol as well. I think they've got this in every single palette, which I think is really nice. And they've got a little a little thing on this side as well again. So it says, an independent and wanderlust dreamer like you wants to explore the world and learn everything there is to know. This makes you one fascinating soul. Your compassionate presence always puts others at ease. You always want the best for your loved ones, even if that means not sugarcoating the truth. Again, love that they've done stuff like that. Like it just really adds like something extra to it. And yeah, I'm absolutely here for it. So I've got a fresh pack of eyeshadow brushes. Never used them before. Oh, where to start, where to start. So as you can tell, I already have my base and my eyebrows done and then I'm gonna do my eyes and then off camera, I will finish off like my makeup and then put my hair down or whatever I wanna do with it and then show you the finished look. We're gonna use some masking tape today. Yeah, I'm gonna be that girl. And we're gonna try, I've never done this before, but we're gonna do that trick where you put the mask tape here um, and hopefully it gives that nice little line. It's looking a little crazy, isn't it? I'm really hoping that actually does the trick. Okay, okay, what shade do I go in first? Ah, I just don't know. Oh, I love the names as well. We've got Humor, Straight Shooter, Risk Taker, Optimism, Wanderlust, Jupiter, Explorer, and Wild and Free. I think we're gonna go in with the lighter shade, which is Humor, so it's the top left one. Um, oh, I don't wanna ruin it, but let's do it. Let's see what we're saying. I love purples as well. I just think, oh, purple eyeshadow is so gorgeous. So far, so good. That is looking very pretty. So I do always like to lay on my base as much as I can because obviously it is your base I don't want it going anywhere but this colour is so it's such a pretty colour I swear I could just like blend this in and just go out like this like if I wanted like a really really sort of like subtle but still a little bit different look but not today we are trying out as many shades as we can <laughs> without going too overboard I kind of want to do something like a little bit different um instead of doing like my normal glam look or my normal natural sort of like look that I do. I kind of do want to experiment and try and do something else. Hope it's going to turn out well, but we shall see. How lovely and buildable are these? Look at that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. With the same brush, I am going to go in with... Ooh, do you know what? I'm going to blend in with Straight Shooter because it's just slightly darker and I'm just going to put it actually um, around the top here and sort of like blend it in because I want to sort of like get so sort of like an ombre feel. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my days, that is gorgeous. God, you do not need a lot of that one. Amazing. So with a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend that in, just so we haven't got harsh lines. I do tend to like to blend sort of like as I go. Really, really nice. I definitely know that these are gonna be like my new go-tos for when I wanna do something a little bit fancy. Next, now this is where I do wanna do something different and I'm scared for my life because I've never done this before. Um, I got some new like eyeliners to do graphic liner. Fancy trying out one and doing something. Don't know what, <laughs> but I wanna do something. And I'm feeling like the white because I think the white would be really, really nice with like the purples because you've got like the lilac, the lavender sort of like colors. I think that would look really, really nice. This is definitely screaming like spring vibes to me. I really wanna do like a giant line going across. Let's just, let's just give it a go and hope for the best, eh? Okay, we've done one line. I can't even, it's so faint. I don't even know if you can see it. These pens are definitely not the best to go on eyeshadow really really not like it keeps like jaggering if that makes sense um but we're gonna we're gonna keep going and we're gonna try and try and get a look try and get a look so just bear with me and there we have the graphic white eyeliner okay so let's get back into the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna go in with a clean brush and then we're gonna wet it and we're gonna go in with biggest shimmy shade i've seen in the longest time i'm so excited to be trying this out. Literally, I think this might be my favorite shade out of the whole collection. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. The most gorgeous shade in all of the world. Um, it's called Optimism. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling optimistic about it. <gasps> oh my days. Wow. Oh my God, that is literally going on like sprinkles. Guys, can you see that? 
can you see that? When I play with these shades, it just makes me love makeup so much. It just makes the whole process just really exciting to me. Wow, 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 wow. Speechless, absolutely speechless. I'm gonna do the same, of course, on the other eye. I haven't even needed to spray any extra. I don't even think you need to put any like set and spray primer spray or anything like that on your brush. I just kind of did it because I do that for like all my shimmers, but to be honest, I don't think you even need. Okay, so there's two things that I wanna do here actually. I'm going to get my angled brush, which is this one, and I'm gonna go in with Explorer, and I just sort of like want to put the eyeshadow here is if it's going to give me an eyeliner illusion that's kind of like the aim that I'm going for and then I'm going to go with another shade because I want to put something like in the corner in a corner of my eye there as well so let's start with Explorer oh these just feel so nice so nice to play around with so I'm sort of bringing it up to the white eyeliner line okay that is what we have so far we're going to go in with wild and free which is a another shimmy shade so and i'm just going to put in the little shade in the inner corner of my eye as i mentioned and lastly i'm just going to put a shade underneath the eyes bring it all together and then we are going to do the reveal with the tape and fingers crossed it's actually worked <laughs> i think we are going to do straight shooter okay let's take this tape off Yes! Wow, that's actually worked. Look at that nice line there. And on the other side. Aha! This look is coming together. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Okay, obviously I need to, because obviously it's going to be a patchy with my foundation, obviously I need to sort that out. How gorgeous are these eyes? Honestly, look at that. Look at the shimmers, look at the graphic. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed with myself. I okay, so now it is lash time. That is the last thing I'm going to do. Of course, we are going to go in with the butterfly lashes because how could I not try them first? I gorgeous, gorgeous girls like lashes with butterflies on them. Ah, wow. Oh my gosh, how insane do these look? Okay, I'm going to go in with the bottom right lashes because I think these look more natural than the top ones. Oh, wow look at these how divine how insane do the butterflies look okay guys this is the finished look i thought i would sort of like stand up for you guys and get a little bit closer to the camera so you can see i feel like this is the best makeup i've ever done in my life Right, so I think that's enough for the purple look. And yeah, the palette performed amazingly and I'm so excited to try the next color. So let's see what I choose next. Three, two, one, let's go. And we are back, we are looking different. It is a new day, it is a new palette. As you can tell by the top, I am picking the green palette, which is Virtuous Virgo. I think this might be my joint favorite um, packaging on the front because I think the hummingbirds are just to die for. They are the sweetest thing ever. I love everything about the style on this one. So on the back, it says, you are hashtag goals virtuous Virgo patient kind hard work and faithful you lead your life with humility and grace but now's the time to give yourself a gift of glam because if anyone deserves it it's you babe I'll treat to you a range of stunning down-to-earth greens and a high shine gold glitter that's a major mood because it's okay to be a little extra once in a while I love it I love I love it Woo! okay 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 oh my days okay guys look at these shades. What's popping for me is this one, this one, this one, and this one. There's a lot of shades here which I'm like, ah! Okay, it's another palette which I'm gonna have to try and find a way of mixing and matching loads and loads and loads of shades. <laughs> okay, so let's read this little section here. It says, patient, kind, and humble, you are hashtag goals girl. While being a service to others is your best quality, sometimes you forget to live for yourself. Remember to do yourself a solid and have some fun every once in a while. Super, super cute. Now, I'm really cautious about how long this video is gonna be, so I'm gonna try and get down to the makeup as quickly as I can, but still giving you the best content as I can. I think I'm gonna go in with patient as my my base but I want to blend it quite high actually and I'm just gonna go in I washed my makeup brushes last night so they have no essence of purple in them again a really nice a buildable shade there oh no I forgot to do my masking tape can't forget the tape this was literally a lifesaver last time and I loved it okay masking tape is set let's carry on with the eyeshadow and I'm just sort of like blending it as far up as I can so it gives that nice little 
faded out look and then I'm gonna go and do it the other eye. Okay, so the base is done. We are gonna go in with, I think, Artistic. And I'm gonna pop the eyeshadow on the outer corners here of my eye and then I'm gonna buffer it up and do sort of like this motion. So it's gonna be here and then alongside here. The names are really, really cool here. We've got High Standards, Patient, Faithful, Modest, Artistic, Reliable, Witty, and Humble. High Standards and Humble and Faithful are my favourite ones, I think. Yes. Oh, that looks so good together. That is a lovely, lovely shade mix. Woo! Just popping it in the crease of my eye. So next, we are going to go back in with Patient, and I want to buffer it out, actually, above the shade Artistic. So it should go light green, dark green, and then light green again, and that's the aim that we're going for. So I think that'd be quite nice to have, again, sort of like the ombre faded look. Okay, that is done, that is done. I am liking what it's looking like at the moment. Now, there are so many colours that I want to try here and I just don't know where to begin. So, I think I'm going to use two shimmery shades and have it going across my lid here. I'm going to go in with the gold shade here called Modest and I'm going to put it on the inner corner of my eyelid here and then next to it, I'm going to go in with the glittery shade Faithful which is a sort of like a green shimmery shade but then it has like little dots and little sparkles of gold in it as well. Um, and then I'm going to put it in the middle of my eyelid. So again, it has sort of like the gold to green ombre fade situation going on there. I'm going to use more of a stern brush and I'm going to wet the brush as well. Yes, again, they perform so well. I am in love. That shimmer goes on so nicely. It's like so silky. It just sort of like glides on. Oh. I love it. And the gold goes so nicely with the greens as well. Look at that, guys. Obviously, I haven't blended it in, but look how nice that is coming out. Just gave that a good wipe down. We are going to spray it again and go in with Faithful. Oh, my days. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better. Yeah, this one's definitely my favourite. Oh, my gosh. Guys, look. It, it's so pigmented. Guys, look. Again, obviously, I haven't blended, but look how insane that is. Excuse me, she glam. Excuse me. Okay, both eyes are done. <laughs> I am super excited. And we're still not done because I am looking at the shade Humble and I'm just being drawn to it. I, I have to use it somewhere. So I think I'm actually going to use it on my right in the inner corner. And also, I'm going to do half of my bottom lash line with Humble. And then I think I'm going to go in with a bit of Artistic and Patient on the other half. I'm also going to use Humble to do the eyeliner idea that I did with my purple look. So, so I'm going to create a flick here because I think it will look nicer than using a pen eyeliner. Okay, so that is with the lower lash done as well. Look how it's looking right now. How insane. Literally, you just can't go wrong with these eyeshadows, honestly. I'm really, really impressed in how this has actually turned out. And guys, like, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Because I feel like I'm not even that creative with eyeshadow, but the palette is just, the colours are so complementative. They go on really, really nicely. They glide on. So I think if, like, if you're new to makeup as well, like, I definitely recommend trying out these palettes. We're now going to do the reveal. Look at that sharp moment. And the other one. I realised I hadn't used the, like, best shade that I have seen in my life, um, high standards. So I'm actually gonna just use the tiniest, tiniest bit and I'm gonna pop it on top of Humble in the inner corner of my eye. Yeah, that is the one. Just be, gotta be careful that the little glitters don't go in your eye. So make sure you do it quite carefully. <laughs> yeah, that li has literally brought the whole look together. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm gonna go off and do everything and show you the final reveal. <laughs> So this is the final look. I don't know which one I prefer at the moment. Yesterday's purple look or this green look. So I've gone really, really simple with the hair. I've put it in just a really, really nice sleek bun. Um, but I wanted to have like little wispy bits because I thought that would look really cute. And then I've just crimped um, little bits of the fringe. I don't know, I just thought it would really complement the eyes. Again, I am so, so impressed. It's just looking so snatched, so pretty. Ah, like, I am working tonight. So I'm so, so excited that I've actually got like a really nice look to kind of work with. Also, I just want to mention that the lashes that I used were the bottom left lashes on the lash collection. They are the ones that look like little half eyelashes, which are my favourite styles to wear. Honestly, I've said in another video, the ones that I think best suit me are the half lashes that literally go on the outer half of your eyes. And yeah, I just think they look really pretty. They really complement it. So 
two makeup looks down. Let's get into the third one. So I feel like my tops are always a little bit of a giveaway. You are going in with Lively Leo. I've been really looking forward to using this one actually because I think this is going to be one that has all like the warms, the neutrals, which are the colours that I would usually wear when I do eyeshadow. So it'd be exciting to sort of like go back to my roots and kind of like do something a little bit extra with it though. So let's talk a little bit about this palette. So on the back we have, you're a natural leader, Lively Leo. Loyal, passionate and wise, people gravitate towards you as a guiding light. That's why your colour palette has to be brighter than bright with sunny yellows, fiery oranges and of course a glittery gold that keeps you centre stage right where you belong. So if we open her up, on the left hand side we have got Whoa there, lively Leo, we see you. You're courageous, bold, and live for the limelight. While your comfort zone may be as the queen of the jungle, it's fine to explore life behind the scenes to recharge and rebalance. Again, ah, I just love that. And what the, wow, the colours. Let's take a look. Look at those. Again, flawless, can't fault them. Obviously I'm being drawn to this shade up here straight away, but I also love this bright, bright yellow. And actually I quite like a ruler down here. So we have got the names are Center Stage, Lion's Den, Playful, Drama Rama, <laughs> Sun Love, Courage, Magnetic and Ruler. And of course they do best describe a Leo for sure. So I was thinking about, do I do something a bit more natural today or do I just, no, just go for it. I'm not really too sure what I wanna do. I haven't thought about anything to do with this. I think straight away, I'm just gonna go in with Playful. It is a really, really, really light pearl shade, but I always like to just have some sort of base before I go in with like a pop of color. So I think I'm gonna go in with that first and then we're gonna layer on top with different different shades and see, see what we're gonna create here. I don't to put too much of the shade on so I don't think it's going to show up that well on camera. I, okay and there we go. So the two shades that are really popping for me I think for like the next stage of my eye look is Sun Love and Magnetic. So we've got the yellow shade and the like orangey shade. So beautiful like it's just, oh. do you know what it's making me want to watch The Lion King. So I think I'm going to use the shade Magnetic, the orange shade on the outer eyelid and then I'm going to go in with Sun Love on the inner eyelid and try and blend it in really nicely so it's got like a sunset or sunrise vibe going on. I think I'm going to go in with Magnetic first actually. Actually I might even just bring it in to my crease a little bit because I think that will help with the blending. Oh, I absolutely, I love yellows, love oranges, love browns. I'm really, really excited to be using this palette today. Oh my gosh, once again, I keep forgetting to do the masking tape. This is just not in my routine. Like I never, I've never done it before. So I just never think to do it. And then I'm like, ah, no, we've got to have that line, like the line. It's beautiful. But you guys, when it happens next time, but you guys are gonna be like, mask and tape, mask and tape, like shouting through the screen. There we go. Okay, we are prepped and we can carry on with the eyeshadow. Do you know what I love about these colors and these, the, like this palette as well, like there's not really any fallback. Even with the shimmery shades and like the actual glitter pieces, like in the, in the eyeshadows, I have struggled with that on a lot of makeup palettes before and I absolutely hate it because then it's like, it does like, cause I do always do my base before I do my eyes. Like it does ruin my makeup a lot. Okay, there we go, both eyes done. So I'm just gonna quickly wipe the brush and I'm gonna go in with Sun Love and we're gonna put it on the mid to inner corner of the lid and try and like buff that in really nicely. Sun love here we come guys wow she is pigmented sun love is really really pigmented oh that's blended in so nicely as well i haven't even like properly blended yet but it's sort of like seamlessly gone into the orange shade guys look at that that is so lovely Ooh, lovely leo so next i just sort of want to buff out the color at the top with Nothing, just my eyeshadow brush, just so it's like nice and blended in because I want to do a, some graphic liner again, I think, for this look. So I just want to make sure it's like all blended out because I'm not going to be able to do it once I've done the eyeliner. And a buff buff there, and a buff buff there. So I'm really getting drawn to ruler and I want to do what I've been doing in my past two looks. I want to use this as my winged eyeliner. I'm just going to go in and create that wing. And I think I want to draw it out actually. So usually I would do like a little small wing, but I'm actually going to bring it up all the way. It's going to be a long wing really feeling sort of more of a dramatic look for this Leo palette. Yeah, that is looking really, really nice. I'm just gonna keep layering it until I, I'm like happy with how it looks. I think as well, I really wanna bring it all the way around my eyelid. So we've got that like nice tone there. I really, really like this shade and it's going really, really nicely with the yellow. Hopefully when I do my lashes, the lashes don't cover the eyeshadow that much. That's what we have. I'm really, really impressed with that actually. That looks really, really nice. Of course, as always, I'm gonna do it on the other eye and then we're gonna carry on. Okay, both 
brown eyeshadow eyeliner look is done. I'm very, very happy with it. Very, very happy. Okay, so now I want to move on to some graphic liner. I have got brown, I've got yellow, because I think these ones are going to suit it best. I just don't really know what I want to do yet. I'm thinking about doing a sort of a similar flick or line, whatever you want to call it, that I did in my first look, but instead of doing an increase, I think about doing it just where the eyeshadow stops and having that sort of like line and that break. Okay, pray for Sha as usual because I am new to this. Okay, first line, first attempt. Now we need to go over that and really make that really make that show. I'm pretty impressed, I'm pretty impressed. Both are done. Considering that this is the second time I've ever done it, like obviously I know like it's not the most amazing thing in the world, but I am actually really, really happy with it. I'm really happy with myself. I don't know whether this is gonna work, but I do wanna use the yellow one. I just don't know whether it, like it's pigmented enough to show up, but I kind of wanna do like just a few little dots. I just think it will like bring it together so you've kind of like got a yellow, then a brown, then yellow, then brown again. I think, I think that'll look quite nice, but we'll have to see whether it's gonna show up, so. Fingers crossed it actually works. Okay, it actually worked. I don't know whether you can see that because I'm looking at the camera and I think it's so small and because it's yellow, I don't know whether it's picking it up, but trust me, it's there. And when I show you the reveal with everything at the end, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay, one last thing I want to do before putting on the lashes and everything else, I have to, have to, have to go in with Center Stage. It's again, one of the most beautiful shades that I've seen ever they honestly they've got they've got some corkers in these palettes let's be honest we're gonna go in with a little diddy brush which i'm not too sure what it's called but i'm gonna spray it and go in in the in a corner of the eye absolutely insane oh i definitely think i'm gonna have to do a little bit of eyeliner at the bottom as well oh, just, so i think i've like finished look and i'm like oh no i could do this as well <laughs> so back in with the angled brush i'm gonna go back in with ruler and, and put that on the outer half and then i'm gonna go in with sun love and just finish it off in sort of like the middle to join the glittery shade and there we have it guys let's do the reveal of course wow <laughs> Ah, like every single time. Okay, so I need to clean up a little bit on this side. That's where like the tape didn't stick properly, but... Okay, okay, okay. Right, so the lashes I think I'm gonna pick. Hmm, I think actually I'm gonna go in with these ones. You definitely won't be able to see because I didn't even notice until now, but I've just realized this got some like faded pink right at the ends of the lashes, which is insane but because it's like so faded i think if i pop it on it would almost sort of like look a bit brownie and i think that will complement the look really really well with the whole like you know fiery leo kind of vibe i think that would look really really nice so of course i'm gonna do everything off camera and show you the reveal in three two one and as always guys this is the finished look for this one i really, really hope you enjoyed watching me create this look as you can see you can see closer like the yellow dots the, the graphic eyeliner you got the lashes i don't know if you can see the pink tips but they they are there and they are looking snazzy. I've decided to go for my crimped hair piece and then I have crimped uh, my little fringe here. But oh my gosh, again, I still just don't know which one is my favorite. Every single time I'm like, okay, this was, this was my favorite, then I do another one and I'm like, oh, but that one's also my favorite because of this, isn't this? Okay, so this look has made me even more excited to try the next palette, so let's just get straight to it. So we have two makeup palettes left. If you made it this far, well done guys. We are going in with the gorgeous blue eyeshadow palette. So on the back, of course, as always, it says, you are much more than surface level perceptive Pisces. Praise for your deep inner knowing and keen intuition. Your generosity, compassion, and open-mindedness starts from your soul. Like the ocean, you are a mystery, but a beautiful one at that. Serene greens and magical blue hues truly speak to you. And of course, let's open up and get that reaction. Wow, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Look at those. Wow, I mean, look at romantic. What's going on there? That is insane. That is stunning. Oh my days. And the shade intuitive. Wow, that is like a almost like a greeny shade. It looks green with like sparkles of like blue and gold in it. That is to die for. Again, another look where I'm like, hmm, we're gonna have to narrow down which shades I shouldn't be using because I want to use them all. Right, let's read this real quick. So it says, let's be real, a surface level just isn't on your level. Gifted with knowledge and intuition, you often get lost in limbo between fantasy and reality. However, you are the most mindful listener of your loved ones and always will always be their inspiration. 
that is so sweet. I think because I want to use so many colours, I'm going to do a lot of layering for this eye look. So I think I'm going to start with the top left shade, Dreamy. It is a little bit sparkly, but we're actually going to use that as a base. I'm just packing this all over my eyelid, layering the shade up. Again! Tape, 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 tape. I'm gonna do this every single time. <laughs> there we go. At least I didn't get too far into this look this time. There we go, guys. The base is on. Look how pigmented she is. I think next I wanna go in with Mysterious. I think I wanna go in just where the line finishes and buff that in. So again, it has that like nice fade into a bit more of like a sort of like bluey greeny shade. Also, sorry, I forgot to mention the names. So we have Dreamy, Psychic, Gentle, Idealist, Mysterious, Romantic, Intuitive, and Neptune. Whoa, guys, that looks insane. Oh my God, that shade. There we go, that is looking snazzy as hell. I think next I'm gonna go in with Neptune, which is a slightly darker shade. And again, I think I'm gonna go in more um, in the outer edge here and then just sort of like buffer it up in this motion. I really want to layer this up and have like lots of different shades of blue. I don't know whether you can see that sort of like ombre effect going on there but it's got sort of like a light shade, the slightly slightly bluey green there and then like the dark blue there and it's just yeah, I'm very happy with this so far. Now of course I have to use that romantic shade. I mean how can you not write? I mean I I sort of don't want to touch it because it looks so pretty, but at the same time, I'm like, I've got to get into it, I've got to use it. Yep, oh, I just love a shimmer. Look at that, already. Obviously, we're gonna lay that up and make it pop in, but that's really, that's really nice. Okay, so that is currently what my eyes are looking like. Fabulous, as always. So next, I wanna go in with Intuitive, which is this shade down here. This is what I, it looks like a greeny shade, greeny, goldy, bluey shade, and it just looks divine. And I think I want to put it in the corner of my eye here, but also sort of like bring it up. So it mixes in with Romantic. Can you see that? <sighs> Feeling like a mermaid. That is so lush. So, 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 so nice. Okay, both eyes are done. Simple and sweet. I'm gonna go in with Neptune and finish off the under eyes here. Then a little dab of Dreamy, again in the inner corner there, because I think it'd be quite nice to put that in with the green. And now lastly, I think with this look to finish off, I am actually gonna do black eyeliner. I wanna do a nice wing. We have got my wing stamps. Okay, we are done with the eyeliner. I tried to do it more of a dramatic eyeliner flick that I would usually do, but let's do the reveal. Again, can't fault it. Whoo, there we go. So I think for this look, I am going to go in with these lashes. These are some of the more natural ones, but they're very like wispy, fluffy. And yeah, I just think that will complement the look real nice. I'm gonna pop these on, finish my makeup, do my hair, and the best bit is yet to come. Here we are. Woo, this is looking so lush with the whole look. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit closer just so you can see everything. So I've matched my earrings with my eye look because I just thought that would look really nice, the fact that I'm wearing like a black top. I've got my hair in a side parting, kind of like going across. I like to call this like the little Ariana Grande style. I've, my hair is in a ponytail and it's got the flick at the end, which I think just gives that nice little like cutesy look to it. But yeah, what do we think about this look? So far so good, right? I'm actually really, really happy at how the black flicks turned out as well because I'm always like, ah, is it gonna ruin the look, is it not? But I really, really like this one. Okay, so it's time to do the final, final look. Are you ready for this one, ladies and gents? Let's go. The fifth and final look. I've decided to save this pinky red palette for last. This is Caring Cancer. So on the back we have, underneath your hard shell is a soft, tender heart, Caring Cancer. You're full of love, compassion, and undeniable charm. A palette of petal pinks is just what you need to embrace your softer side. And of course, we included a dark purple just in case you're in a mood. A wink, wink. <laughs> and here we go. Here are the shades. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Straight away, I am 100% using Charm because that is a beautiful shade. In a mood looks really, really nice as well. And you've got some really nice pink tones here. You've got a pink shimmer up here. So let's go in and read a little bit on the side here. You're a softy, caring cancer. You wear your heart on your sleeve. Uh, shell. 
but sometimes this can expose you to getting hurt. Ouch! You may want to retreat, but the key to keeping balance is facing the world and embracing your emotions. Now, I definitely want to go all out with this look. I just have no idea what on earth I'm going to be doing. So I think I'm going to go in with Affection for my base. It's a really, really nice pink shade, actually. Like, it's not pale pink, but it's also not dark pink. It's a really, really nice in-between. And once again, we forgot the masking tape. Okay, there she is. Let's carry on doing the other eye. Okay, so the base is on. I'm actually really impressed with the shade of pink. I've got lots of different shades of pinks in my eyeshadow sort of collection, but not one that's this shade. I'm really, really liking it. It almost has like a pinky red vibe to it. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with In The Mood, which is the purple shade down here. I'm not gonna dab too much on because I've got a thin. this is gonna be very prominent, very pigmented. So we're just gonna do a slight dab and we're gonna be putting it in the outer corner. Okay, so I haven't put too much on because I feel like with dark purples you do have to be super careful. For me anyway, I feel like if I put too much on, like I'm gonna look like I've been punched in the face. I'm gonna go back in with Affection actually, which is the first shade that we use, and actually buffer that out. So again, I obviously you know I like my ombre look, I like my ombre effect, so I'm gonna buff that out. So hopefully we've got like pink, purple, and then pink. Next, I think I'm gonna go in with Imagination. Also, I haven't said the shade names. So we've got Nurture, Imagination, Shell, Resilient, Devoted, Affection, Inner Mood, and Charm. So we're just gonna go in with Imagination. This is a shimmery pink, but I'm not gonna wet the brush this time. So this is what the eyes are currently looking like. I kind of hoped that the Imagination shade would kind of give like a highlight at my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna go in with Charm, and we're gonna put that nice, gorgeous shade in the inner slash mid of my eyelid. We're gonna wet the brush for this one. I have Washi's brushes, so they are now stained like bluey green. Woo, wow. Now, if that's not one of my favorite shades, I mean, it's certainly one of my favorite ready pinky shades that I own, I think. So this is what the eye is currently looking like, guys. Almost wanna cry, that is, so beautiful. Okay, so that is done. I am gonna go in with, of course, some more graphic liner. How could I not for the last look? I'm really decisive. I don't know if I should go in with a white or this is sort of like a pinky red shade. I definitely need to get some better pens. I like drew that on really nice and smoothly, but it's just so faint because obviously it's going on top of eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna sort of, like, I'm just waiting for it to dry each time and then like draw another layer on. Okay, and that is currently done. Now, I wanna do something slightly different, and again, I've actually never done this before, or I may have done this when I was like younger, but like not properly. I've got two packs of rhinestones, little gems, that I wanna be putting on my eyes, and I think I wanna put them actually on this white eyeliner line. Now, as you can tell, my nails are extremely long, and this is gonna be extremely fiddly. Oh my God, these are so fiddly, it's driving me insane. So I think I only have four red gemstones which is kind of annoying so i'm gonna have to mix and match oh my gosh guys i cannot tell you how long that took i don't even know if these are gonna stick on i've literally used my eyelash glue but they've been so fiddly it's like me the longest time so fingers crossed they actually stick on but i've got two silver ones and two red ones hopefully you can see that but of course you'll see it all close up in a little while so last but not least i think i'm gonna go in with in the mood actually and pop a little bit on the lower lash line and then i'm gonna go in with affection and blend that in as well so i've decided i really really want to do black eyeliner and do flicks with this but i'm really worried that because like i have to really get in there i'm gonna ruin the gems so i might attempt to do it like really really lightly guys i got it to work i've done the smallest little flick Ever, but I'm happy I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go too crazy because I just don't want my luck to run out basically lastly I'm actually just gonna put in some glitter in the inner corner of my eye if you do get the full collection you can use any of these sort of like glittery shades from the other palettes this one is just like a plain sparkle as opposed to like a coloured one. But I think that's just gonna really bring the eye look together. And voila guys, there we have it. Let's take these bad boy tape off. Lash right. Yeah, there we go. I am extremely happy with this look. So I'm actually gonna be putting on, I think, I wanna go for the same lashes that I wore yesterday. And then we're gonna go a little bit ham on the bronzer, everything like that, get the hair done. I'm actually very excited to show you with the hair look and everything like that, because I've got a vision in my head. So here is the reveal, guys, in three, 
two, one. And here we are, the final look of the makeup video. So you can see it's zoomed in there, you've got the white graphic liner and the nice little gemstone. We've got the winged look as well, the nice little glitter in the inner corner and of course all the gorgeous, gorgeous shades that we've used on the eyelid today. I had to save one of my favourite hairstyles for last. I've gone in with my giant super long hairpiece plait and I did initially like curl my fringe into little ringlets but I just wasn't vibing with it, so I decided to crimp it in the end. So that is it for the whole video. Thank you so much guys for watching if you made it this far. Honestly, big love to you guys because I know it was a lengthy video. But hopefully this has given you lots of inspiration. If you do want to buy these palettes, of course, like I said, all the details are in the description down below. So go check them out. You can buy all of them together or you can buy individually if you like a certain look, a certain colour. Or maybe you just want to buy like your own horoscope. Or maybe you might want to get them for like birthday gifts. And of course, you have to let me know which look is your favourite in the comment section down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up, like, subscribe. You know the drill by now, guys. Take care, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.